In this video, I'll show you how to export all the tracks in your project to produce individual stems, to continue mixing, share with another producer, for backups, or even to send to a mixing engineer. One great feature of working with audio stems is that they use dramatically less CPU. And so it's a great workflow when your computer is struggling with a project or you're about to make a critical audio recording session and want to make sure there's plenty of CPU available. There are two options. You can export every mixer track or export every playlist track. I'll show the benefits of each method and how they can fit different workflows or project needs. Let's start with the mixer track export where we will export each mixer track to a separate audio file. If two or more playlist tracks or patterns are routed to the same mixer track, they will export together as a combined stem. To get started, navigate to File, Export, and select Wave. After naming and choosing a save location, this dialog box will open. We covered these quality settings in a previous video, so check the description if you're unsure of the file type you need. But for further audio work and archiving stems, 32-bit Wave offers the highest precision. And for sending your stems to a mixing engineer, they often request 24-bit Wave, but just check with them first. In the miscellaneous settings, you must select Split Mixer Tracks. Usually you want to apply the Mixer Insert effects, so make sure Enable Insert Effects is also checked here. You can also export the stems without effects if you want. Sometimes I do both. It doesn't hurt to have a backup, and often a mixing engineer will ask for stems with and without effects. When you press start, the export will begin, and when complete, just open a new project, drag all these stems into an empty playlist track header, select audio tracks, and take a listen. An important point to note is that this method exports without the master effects applied to each mixer track, only the insert effects are included. But if you like, you can go to your original project and save the master effects as a mixer track state preset, then on your new project you can open that preset and apply those mastering effects again. However, to export with the master effects imprinted on each audio stem, we can use the second method, export all playlist tracks. You might have seen that if you right click on a track header, you can consolidate a single track like this. We're going to do this for all the tracks automatically. It's important to note that if multiple playlist tracks are routed to the same mixer track, they will still be exported individually. To do this, we go again to the file menu, and this time we select export all playlist tracks. This process sequentially solos each playlist track, including its associated automation. Because of this, it takes much longer than the split mixer tracks method, because we're actually going to export each track individually one after another. But good things come to those that wait, and it really is a great method. When completed, Open a new empty FL Studio project, navigate to your data folder, drag the stems onto the first playlist track header, and it will sound the same as your original project. And if not, check your master and insert effect settings. For more information about audio quality settings when exporting, please check the video linked in the information below. And until next time, enjoy multi-track exporting. Mm -hmm.